Hi guys, uh, today's video is going to be on the Nerf Mega Roto Fury. The Roto Fury is a pump action, um, single shot or slam fire, um, shotgun style blaster. It takes the huge mega darts, um, it contains one, well, it has one really long tactical rail across the top. I don't know why, but they decided to make it really long and then have a stopper a halfway down, and then you can't really use the rest of the rail. But it's there. Um, it comes with three sling points. So you can have it slung there, or there somehow or on a single point sling there and then you can just throw it behind you as a secondary it is primary worthy um, if, if it's a mega, a mega only game or there's special rules for mega darts uh, like double tags or certain zombies that are only affected by mega darts um, I was going to compare it to one of my other Mega Blasters, my Cyclone Shock, but this happens to be, let's just say incredibly powerful in comparison. This clocks in at about 100 and 20 FPS, so I thought something a little bit more in its league would be the Magnus, which is a stock Magnus, which still hits reasonable ranges. Hmm, not bad. So a lot of people have complained about the Rotor Fury, saying that their hand, after a while, or their hand slams into this part, as, um, here, when they're priming it. I've, I've, I've never had that problem. Um, I've used this a few times. The trigger on it is very, very tactile. It's got a nice feel to it. So let's get a few shots off and I'll give you my final opinion on the Rotor Fury. I'll be firing about 35 feet to my patio doors. Okay, uh, that was five and now five slam fire. Yeah, as you can tell, slam fire is incredibly inaccurate and completely pointless. It is a little like sticking wheels on a tomato. Um, so overall, the Road to Fury, is it worth picking up? Is it worth your money? Um, well, I picked mine up pre-owned as I do with most of my blasters, um, due to limited funds. But I picked it up pre-owned and it is a fantastic blaster. Um, a lot of people complained about it not having a stock attachment point and people have taken stock attachment points from other blasters and either screwed them or poly welded them on and then attached either a Raider stock or a work stock onto it to make it aimable but to be honest it's not necessary you've got two points to grip so I can't really see myself aiming it it's it's good enough to hit fire and it's good for close range which is what it's really designed for it's, um, it's a lot like the, the street sweeper um, if, if, if 
mega ritual thing. Um, then yeah, Road to Fury is a great addition to your mega arsenal. If you've not had any mega, um, experience with mega before, I'd suggest trying the Magnus. Give it a go, see how you feel, see if you like it. If you enjoy it, the Cyclone Shock is a worthy successor. And it has double the capacity. This has an extra four rounds than the Cyclone Shock. It's a little bit creaky, but that's only on the pump. But that's to be expected. Um, I've had no issues with it, no jams, no feed issues, but that's to be expected from a, a pump action um, Springer. Um, slime fire, as you saw, is pointless, um, as it is with every blaster. Um, if you want to go full auto, get a flywheeler. Um, if you want to shoot fast, get a flywheeler. If you want to be accurate and have punch, this this will do the job. Um, I do have an upgrade spring for this and an upgrade spring for the Magnus. The upgrade spring for this I will install at some point, but it's one of the trickier ones to do. Um, as there are a lot more components back here to fiddle with and a few locks. Um, it is capable of taking up to K26, but I'll only be putting a 12 kilogram spring in this and I think a 10 kilogram in my Magnus. There's a 12 in my Cyclone Shock. But overall, a great blaster, great price. Um, you can pick these up in stores now for around 30 pounds. Definitely worth it, definitely. Um, Mega Darts are still quite expensive, even the off-brand ones, and um, the new um, Mega Aki Strike Darts I've yet to try, or the um, the Mega Aki Fakes I haven't tried either, um, because I bought a Mega Magnus, uh, Mega Mastodon, and it came in a special bundle with 75 darts, so, and I bought another two packs, two 10 packs, so I've got like 95, so I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. Um, but yeah, if you're into Mega, and this is your kind of thing, definitely worth it, go for it. They're great, great fun, great blasters, and yeah, I have no complaints. Um, if there are any um, generous benefactors out there that want to add some, uh, send me any kits or blasters to review, I'd be more than happy to review them on my channel. Um, you can get in touch with me, uh, my email address in the description. Um, and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and the little notification bell so that you'll be notified of my latest upload. Um, I'm going to try and get a more frequent upload schedule and uh, show you some more mods and do a bit more modding videos. Um, because at the moment there's been a lot of reviews, I've been doing a lot of reviews. Um, but I'm always happy to do reviews. So, yeah, if you want to send me anything to review, I'm happy to do that. Um, I've been Matt. Have a great day. Take care. Look after yourself, look after each other. Wear eye protection. No fun, guys. See you soon.